Yeah, I'm Captain Chet Miller with the 535th Airlift Squadron. I'm the Pacific Air Force's C-17 demo team lead. Our preparation is on somewhat of an annual cycle. Uh, this year we started back in May with uh, the selection of new team members and the recertification of previous team members. We have four pilots and three loadmasters that, that all fly. Uh, we'll have a pilot flying, a pilot monitoring, and then a safety observer upstairs, as well as uh, two loadmasters downstairs to do normal flight duties during the demonstration, as well as just one extra pilot to either be uh, an extra filler or to do admin duties. So in order to get certified, uh, we have a whole rigorous curriculum we have to go through uh, in which zero failure is tolerated. So we, we start off with academics, uh, proceed into the simulator, uh, and then fly and grade those sorties. And then after you've passed those graded sorties, we'll come out here and we'll actually come out here to Kanye Bay and fly uh, practice sorties from there. Uh, each sortie has to be flown from each of the crew positions. And then uh, each of those is graded uh, to a strict grading criteria, which gets reported at the chain of command. When that's completed, we then uh, push our package up to the commander of the Pacific Air Forces, General Vilsbach, and then he came out and he observed our flight and then certified us as a team. Uh, all told, it's several months worth of preparation per show. Uh, this is one of my additional duties in, on top of just flying uh, regular operational missions. So I spend quite a bit of my day working paperwork and the approvals. Uh, we do some advanced mission planning, terrain analysis and whatnot. For this show, that, since this is more or less our home airfield, uh, so, which we're super excited about performing at, uh, it's a little less preparation because we're so familiar with it, but uh, it's, it's nonetheless uh, quite a bit of pull on both our operations uh, center as we have to take one of our tails from flying normal operations in order to donate it or allow it to come out to an air show like this. Uh, the audience can expect uh, in our 12 minute, which is our full profile demonstration out here, we will do a max effort takeoff to a max effort climb. So you'll see a very large aircraft use about 2,000 feet of runway and then pitch to nearly 30 degrees nose high and a climb up to approximately 1,500 feet. Uh, at that point, we'll demonstrate the maneuverability and speed of the aircraft, which is unusual for such a large airplane. Uh, we're used to seeing it with our fighter brethren and whatnot and the high maneuverability, but you'll see the extreme roll rate and whatnot that the C-17 brings as a capability. From there, uh, we'll do a slow flight pass, which the C-17 has what's called direct lift capability, which the engines actually blow air onto the flaps, producing lift. So we don't need just airspeed to produce lift. We also can use thrust as well, which allows us to get really slow and land on really short runways. Uh, from there, we'll do a go around and then we'll come in for an assault landing, in which you'll see a stop uh, inside of 2,000 feet and then go into immediate backing. One of the unique capabilities of the C-17 is that our thrust reversers also allow us to back. So we'll go up to 15 knots backwards uh, in this demonstration. Being able to participate in this particular air show, uh, like I said, for the team, it's, it's really cool being our home show. It's in front of our, our families and then also it's, it's where we practice and, and where we live since we're based out of Hickam and the 535th and the 204th Airlift Squadron, also the Hawaii Air National Guard. Uh, personally, for me, this is super meaningful because this is Marion Carl Airfield. And uh, Marion Carl, he was retired as a Major General. He was the first World War II fighter ace for the Marine Corps. And then he started a foundation which brought aviation to students and schools. And that's what got me interested originally in aviation and flying. So uh, honestly, like the namesake of this airfield is really uh, the origin story of my time in aviation. So it means a lot to me just personally to be able to come back here and perform. I'd just like to share, uh, come out and support the team. Uh, we're putting on the showcase our best pilots in, in the airframe as well as our best loadmasters. Uh, it's a pretty incredible show. I know Wheeler, the air show director, always says people come back to see the big airplane back up. So come out and see us do such a unique capability.